Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are Tesla reintroduces enhanced autopilot in Europe and China. A sonic Lego set is coming. Xiaomi's new concept phone has an all-corner curving waterfall display. Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3 rumored to arrive in July. Oppo develops double-sided pop-up smartphone camera. Let's get started. Tesla reintroduces enhanced autopilot with some FSD features in Europe and China. Tesla has reintroduced the enhanced autopilot packaged in Europe and China with some features that were in the more expensive full self-driving package. Over the last few years, Tesla has changed its autopilot options and pricing so many times, it has been hard to follow. Finally, the automaker ended up making the autopilot's auto steer and traffic aware cruise control standard on its vehicles and bundled the rest of the features into its full self-driving package, commonly known as FSD. The automaker started selling the FSD package for $5,000, and it has gradually increased the price to now $10,000, as it added more features to it. It gives buyers limited options to access some of the more useful convenient features. At times, Tesla has brought back the enhanced autopilot package in order to give more options to customers. Now the automaker did it again, but apparently only for customers based in Europe. Several Europe-based Tesla customers who didn't buy the FSD package are reporting now having the option to upgrade to enhanced autopilot in the Tesla app for €3,800, about $4,500. The option was also made available in China. In the past, Tesla has temporarily brought back the option in other markets, and therefore the option could go away. A Sonic Lego set is coming. Everyone's favorite blue hedgehog is about to get his own Lego set. You can thank 24-year-old Sonic fan Viv Granel and the LEGO Ideas program for bringing LEGO and Sega together. Over the years, the initiative, which allows fans to submit designs they'd like to see the company manufacture, has produced some truly delightful sets, including a handful of fun NASA-themed ones. Granel's design of the Green Hill Zone, based on the excellent Sonic Mania rendition of the level, earned him more than 10,000 community votes a design needs before LEGO considers making it into something official. With Sega's approval LEGO is now starting official development on the design. LEGO didn't say when the set will go on sale but did mention it will be available globally once it's ready. The timing of this latest set couldn't have worked out better for Sega. It's the year of Sonic, with the franchise celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2021. Sega has multiple Sonic-related projects planned for the future, including an animated Netflix series. Xiaomi's new concept phone has a waterfall display that curves in all four corners. Xiaomi likes to show out concept phones every once in a while with the last one being the Mi Mix Alpha from September 2019. Now we have got a look at a different type of curved display that melts in all four corners from top to bottom and left to right. Xiaomi is calling it an 88-degree hyperquad curved screen, and it's the most extreme form of a curved screen we've seen to date. The concept device features no ports or physical buttons. The new display actually comes with four rounded cutouts in the corners which are presumably there to deter unwanted palm touches. Another interesting choice is the positioning of the status bar on the top right-hand side. Mind you the promotional images and video are just showing off renders and not an actual device though Xiaomi representatives have confirmed that there is a real-life prototype with a new hyper-quad curved screen. There's no word on when or if we'll see a commercially available phone with Xiaomi's new quad curved panel anytime soon. Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3 rumored to arrive in July. The Note lineup normally launched around September-October period so we generally believe this was when we'd expect the new foldables to arrive. If a rumor is to be believed, Samsung may be planning to launch its new foldable phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3, in July this year, months earlier than the Z Fold 2, which arrived last September. If Samsung is now making a shift to its release strategy and its H1 flagship the S21 series already released in January, then this new timeline makes sense. If the company should stagger two major calendar releases per year, they may be six months apart. This means new foldables would be expected six months after the Galaxy S21 line up in July. It's still too early to tell whether there's truth to this rumor. 
perhaps the company might be on track to release foldables in July but it's never known if it will run into some kind of manufacturing delay. Who knows, maybe Samsung's figured everything out with folding devices for the third iteration. After all, it already went through a major recall with a first-generation Galaxy Fold. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 is expected to make a change from the UTG or ultra-thin glass composition of the second generation of foldables and may switch back to plastic. The Fold 3's display is rumored to measure 7.55 inches on its internal display with a 6.21-inch cover display. Another rumor said that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 may be priced the same as the Z Fold 2 when it launched, $2,000. A supposed render of the Z Fold 3 looks like parts of the S21 Ultra were mashed up with a folding form factor and an S Pen. We're yet to see Samsung offer a folding device that supports the S Pen. Previous models have displays that are too delicate and mark easily. For the Z Flip 3, the inner display may grow to 6.7 inches diagonally and it is rumored to feature a 120Hz refresh rate. The Z Flip 3's cover display is also expected to grow from the original Z Flips. It's also rumored that there will be a cheaper Z Flip 3 model, perhaps one powered by a mid-range chipset. Oppo develops double-sided pop-up smartphone camera. Multiple companies are apparently trying to solve the selfie camera notch problem in various ways. Oppo has a design they could implement as early as this year that allows a single pop-up camera module to capture photos both forward and backward out of a single unit using mirrors. The images here are renders that Let's Go Digital commissioned from Jermaine Smith, also known as Concept Creator, using the patent specification and show in detail how the concept would work. The pop-up module would use a light path deflecting mirror, similar to a design that Xiaomi has patented but arguably more advanced. Xiaomi's design only uses one mirror while Oppo's uses two which are arranged in the shape of a triangle. That system reflects light paths as needed to change the direction that the two cameras can capture. With this design, only the reflective unit moves up and down and the cameras remain stationary. The cameras are facing up. A pair of mirrors or prisms are positioned perpendicular to the cameras and can be tilted to change the direction of photography. Oppo takes various options into account. For example, Oppo can decide to use one of the two cameras to take selfies. Both cameras are then used for regular photos. The desire to find a way to get around the front-facing camera cutout as well as the camera bump on the backsides of smartphones appears to be very strong, as multiple companies from Samsung and Vivo to Xiaomi and Oppo are all patenting different ways to try and solve the problem. Pop-up cameras have typically been fragile and prone to failure, so it's unclear why it remains a popular solution among companies, at least in early patent designs. Few manufacturers actually produce devices with pop-up cameras though, which remains the strongest indication that there is not a lot of faith in the design choice. Still, a solution that simultaneously solves the rear camera bump, as well as the front-facing camera cutout, is perhaps more worth the risk than a pop-up system that only addresses one. These physical design patents may end up being unnecessary as far as the rear camera array is concerned however. This is because recently, a new startup, MetaLens claims to have solved the camera bump problem by removing the need for traditional lens arrays. Therefore it is a matter of time before someone resolves this issue in a far better manner than the current offerings on the market. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.